What up YouTube, this is Supercharged iOS. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install custom categories to the little black box using the USB flash drive. And it's also gonna install Fusion as well as XUnity. So it's gonna really hook you up. And what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to customize the categories. Like you see, I've changed one of the categories of mine to Super. I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. Go to on demand and you use the back arrow on your remote control. And when this keyboard pops up, all you have to do is change this. So I'll just give you a little demonstration. I'll backspace all the way to the O and go to done. And now you see it changed to an O. So it's really simple. It's really cool. It's an ability to customize each category. So I'm going to show you how it's done. All right. The first step is to go over to programs, select that one and then scroll over to TLBB update service, select that. And when this window appears, you wanna move over to the right and then scroll down to factory reset. And go ahead and select that and go ahead and factory reset the little black box to its factory settings. And then you'll be ready to move on to the next step. The next step is to insert your USB flash drive into your computer. And once it's mounted, you can go ahead and change the name to user data just like you see so just go ahead and change it from whatever it is it has to be exactly like this all caps and no space user data just like that and then you want to open the flash drive like this make sure that there's nothing at all else on it whatsoever and the link that you downloaded in the description is going to be extreme installer so once you get this zip file downloaded, go ahead and extract the contents of that zip. And this is what you'll end up with. Extreme install installer of the file. Just open that up. And what you need is this right here, XBMC data. So just go ahead and drag that straight onto the flash drive like this. And wait for it to copy. And it shouldn't take but maybe two or three minutes and you should be done and be ready to move on to the next step. All right, now the process is complete. We finished adding the XBMC data file onto the flash drive that we changed the name to user data in all caps with no spaces. And the flash drive is formatted to FAT32. So now that the process is complete, we can eject our flash drive properly and move on to the next step. All right, so you've done the factory reset of the little black box, and you have your FAT32 format USB flash drive with the XBMC data file transferred onto it only and nothing else. And the name of the USB flash drive is named user data in all caps. So after you have completed your factory reset of the little black box, you need to just go back to the plain home screen where it says channels and videos and all that and just insert the flash drive while you're on that screen and once you see that it's completely mounted on the screen of the little black box on your TV screen you can go ahead and pull the power cable out of the back of the little black box Just wait a couple seconds and then plug the power cable back in. And now when the device powers up, you'll see the normal rebooting screen, but it'll just take a few seconds while you load the data. So just be patient and it'll be finished. And it takes the total process, total time, it takes maybe three to five minutes tops. All right, now that the user data is fully uploaded to the little black box from the flash drive, you'll see on your screen the configuration screen that you saw for the first time when you first turned on your device. What you need to do is now, don't worry about setting the Wi-Fi network or anything like that. All you need to do is unplug the flash drive and then unplug the power, wait maybe two or three seconds, 
and then plug it back in. And once the device boots up, you'll have custom menus and X Unity as well as Fusion. And now you'll be able to customize the menus and name them whatever you want. Once again, you just go to whichever one and go to the back button on your remote control and just name it whatever you want. Simple as that. Just hit done after and you're good to go. Also, you have the two best sources out there, which is XUnity and Fusion. So now when you need add-ons, just go to settings, add-ons, install from zip, and there's Fusion and XUnity. XUnity probably will be the more popular one right now, so we'll go into that one. And you can go scroll down a little more to repositories and there's some of, your, some of your more popular ones. There's Jason PC. Go ahead and install that one. That one's pretty good. Also, you want to just go back into install from zip once again. Scroll down, go to XUnity, and scroll down to repositories. And you definitely want to add Mikey1234. Definitely get that. It's got a lot of cool and useful stuff. Just click on them with the OK button, and they'll install just like that. And then you can just go to get add-ons and scroll over till you find each one. There's Jason's repo. Let's go over to Mikey1234. Right there. And there's the program add-ons. You can go ahead and get the talk wizard or the maintenance tool, which is very useful. Also, go over to the video add-on section. Plenty, plenty to choose from in here. All right, this is Supercharged iOS. This video shows you how to install custom menus as well as XUnity and Fusion using the Xtreme installer for the little black box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. Also, like my page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS. And follow me at twitter.com forward slash charge.ios. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.